Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. This is going to be Board System Test 38 with the Firelight MS4424B Fire Alarm System. So let's go ahead and get started. notification plant we have a power sh1224r horn strobe this device will be doing code 3 in the set on 75 candela for a smoke detector in today's test we have a simplex 4098-9601 conventional true alarm smoke detector and if we move down we still have the simplex 2098-9806 test station for second notification plants on today's system we have a pretty rare device um this is a system sensor PS241575, this device will be doing code 3 in the set on fixed 1575 candela. This device sounds very similar to my system sensor PA400R mini horn. Now, a fun fact about this device, this device actually used to be in a restaurant. And before they decided to take the building down, I actually was fortunate enough to be able to remove this device. Um, it's very unique. Um, I feel like I've never seen one of these in a building. Um, and I was really happy that I was able to save it. Um, it's just really cool um, that it will be running on this system now. So definitely looking forward to that. And, um, and you can definitely look forward to some more future tests with this device. Uh, but this is the first time you will actually see this device used on this channel. But I did get it a few months ago. For our pull stations on today's system, we have two pull stations. On the top, we have an AT5060-S. Same junction box, and below that, we have a Firelight BG12L pull station. All right, to start off today's test, I'm going to go ahead and pull the Firelight BG12L. Here we go. In three, two, one. For next test today, I'm going to go ahead and activate the smoke detector by just spraying some smoke. Here we go. Should be enough. Should go off any second now. It usually just takes a second. I will now go ahead and reset the pool station. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and insert my key, turn it, and see the handle automatically comes back up just like that. It's going to close back into place and lock back up. Now I'm going to go into the main fire alarm control panel. I'm going to hit system reset. All right, to finish out today's test, I'm going to go ahead and pull the ADT pool station. Here we go. In three, two, one. I will now go ahead and reset the pool station. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and insert my key. I'm going to turn it. As you can see, the handle automatically pops back up. There's the inside. 
going to close back in place and lock back up just like that. And now I'm going to go into the main fire alarm control panel and I'm going to hit system reset. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video.